I am in a Google document that I've already started, we're going to go through this toolbar to look at the buttons and cover what the features are. So I'm going to put some text in the document and notice it says saving and then all changes saved in Drive. So as you work and you have an internet connection, all changes are being saved to your Google Drive. If your, Google, if your computer crashes, the most you'll lose is a few sentences. You have your undo and your redo buttons here, um, your printing uh, button as well. And so say I delete this paragraph, but then decide I wanted it back. I could click on undo to get it back. If I click on redo, it gives me back uh, the changes back. So I can use this uh, interchangeably to get things back that I had before. Here is the font menu. There are some fonts already here. If you don't have the font that you need, you can click on this more fonts and add the font so that it will be in your list from here on. Here is the font size. You can type the font size to numerically if the actual font uh, point is not here in this list. Here are the styles that you use all the time, bold, italic, underline, and color. So basically, if I wanted to highlight this World Cup trophy, I would go to this text color uh, button. The highlight and text color are all in the same button. So if I click on it and I click on text, which it was already on, I could then choose the color of the text uh, how I want it to appear. If I wanted to, in addition, highlight it, I would click on highlight and then pick the color I want to be in the background. So I chose this blue with this yellow. If I wanted to get rid of the yellow, I could just click on the highlight none so that the highlight no longer appears. Clicking on the chain will allow you to hyperlink to other parts of the document or on websites. So if I wanted to link Carly Lloyd to a website, so uh, it would be an interactive document, I could click on this, highlight Carly first, then click on the little chain, and then Google is pretty intelligent. It will look for things to link to based on what you've highlighted. Uh, I could click on this little uh, upward arrow to see what that website is. Here's a um, JPEG. I'll link to that picture. So I click on apply, and then this is hyperlinked. Click on it to get to the link, and then click on the link. You would click on this to change the link to something else or to remove the link altogether. Uh, next to that is the insert comment. So if I wanted to uh, make a comment on something in the document without actually changing it, I would highlight the place or the content that I want to comment on, then click on this insert comment. And then I will see a place to the right where I can type my comment. And then I can click on comment and there it is. So if I highlight and I have different comments, um, I could click on the highlighted area and it will bring that comment out uh, so I can tell what comment goes with what. Here are the align buttons, your center, your um, left, your center, your right, and your justify. Here is your line spacing. So you have single and um, 1.15. Uh, you also have the ability to have custom spacing or add a space before a paragraph or remove space after a paragraph. These are very handy. Here's your numbered list. So you can outline something uh, and by just selecting it and applying that button. And you can change the style. So if I wanted it to be A, uh, I would choose that. If I didn't want it on, I just clicked it off. Here are my bullets. So I can bullet something choose a different type of bullet type. If you're not seeing these bullets, it could be that your browser window is smaller than mine and you might see this more menu. Click on that to get to some of the buttons that might be hidden. You've got your decrease and increase indent so you can indent your text. This is especially helpful when you're working with an outline. Um, here you have the remove or clear formatting option. So if you're on a website and you're copying and pasting text, or in this case, a Word document, I could copy that, paste it, but it brought in the size uh, along with it and some extra spacing, but mostly it's the size that's off. It's at Helvetica 28. Okay, And actually, the font that I'm using right now is Arial. So if I wanted to get back to the default values of this document, I would highlight the text I want to clear the formatting from, click on clear formatting, 
and there it is at Arial 11. Now when you clear formatting, it does not remove links. It just removes um, that color, the font size, the font uh, type, and so forth. To the right of that is the editing button. So it's actually the mode button. So you see editing when you create a document because you're the owner and you can edit it. You might get a document shared with you uh, so that you can edit. But here are some other modes and we'll cover these a little bit more in future videos when we talk about sharing. But for the most part, uh, you'll be using the editing mode. And then last but not least, you have the hide the menus button that you can use to get rid of this white space. So if you have a data projector and you want to maximize your space, uh, you can click on those arrow buttons to uh, do that. So that is the document toolbar. Thanks for watching.